today I'm going to be doing a little project and today I'm going to be making a compressed air cannon. So first, I mean most of these pieces you can get at Home Depot. I did and I went to O'Reilly. Okay, so the parts that I am going to be using is half inch PVC, two inch PVC, I will be using a two inch to half inch PVC reducer, half inch ball, uh, PVC ball valve, non-threaded. All of these pieces that I'm going to be using are non-threaded. I have a two inch PVC cap. I drilled a hole in here. Here's the footage of me drilling the hole. Okay, we are going to be using a 2 inch PVC coupling and a tubeless tire valve. The, it, this one comes with two, but we already used one. So we'll be using this. And let's get into the video. Okay, first off, I so the half inch PVC pipe that we used, uh, we cut off a little piece because, well, I'll get into that later. Okay, first off, what we are going to be doing is, with my, the design for our air cannon, we are going to have this as the main tank. It's about two feet long. And we, first of all, we got to put this cap onto here. But before we do that, we need to get and have it placed onto here. The, it will not be pushed out yet. Now we need to put something to hold it in place so the air pressure doesn't or no when we plug it in so it doesn't go through here and then falls into the tube so first of all we're going to be needing to use some epoxy okay now while we are waiting for this epoxy to dry i had to add a little bit more on the bottom here because well just to just to make sure just so it's more firm in there. So what we are going to be doing now, because this is going to be the cap that's going to go on the end of our tube. Alright, so what we are going to be doing next is adding the coupling onto here. Like that, and then we are going to be adding the reducer. Like that. But, of course, it's not going to really work out that way. So we'll have that there, that there. Alright, top C go away. And PVC cement come here. PVC cement come here. Okay. Okay, so first we are going to be doing the coupling. So we are going to be taking some PVC cement. Let's open this up. And we are going to be putting a little bit in here and then a little bit right here. It'll take about, I don't know, two hours for this to fully strengthen. Um, so let's get started. This stuff really smells bad. Okay, so now I'm going to be cementing on the reducer. So, th and this, this, oh, it's bad stuff. I don't like it. It's, it's not good for me either, but it's worth it. Well, hopefully. And 
we got it in. Alright, that's the next step complete. Okay guys, next step, we gotta add this little, it's about, I don't know, inch and a half or so, um, off of this half inch piece of PVC. We gotta cement it onto the reducer, and then we're gonna cement it onto the ball valve. Which is going to work like that, it's closed at the moment. And then we are going to connect it to this, which is going to be our barrel. And then this epoxy is pretty much dry. Well, that on last though. So, let's get this started. Okay, now we are going to do the ball valve. Okay, that is the ball valve. And the little tiny piece of half inch PVC. Done. All we have to do is add the barrel and the cap. Be done with our air can. Oh. Okay, so now we are going to add the barrel and the cap. And let's get started, I guess. Um, also, for the ball valve, I don't want to get a lot of PVC cement onto it. I think we got the barrel on pretty well. Now we've got to do the cap. And I think we got our air cannon, folks. Um, I think we just have to wait for it to dry now. Just probably two hours. Um, but, I mean, I guess I'll just wait overnight. And see when this is dry, and then we'll test it. Okay, so now we are finished. We have a two feet, two foot tank. That can hold up to about, I don't know, 100 PSI or so. I had to also cut off some of this because the other tire valve that I used went through. So we had to get these new ones, same place, you could get them at O'Reilly. But we had to cut off some of the 2 inch PVC and then buy a new cap, and then put a, a hole through the cap, and then put in this new tire valve. And these tire valves are twice as expensive, but they have a bolt to hold them in. So, because this last time I used it, it went through into the tank. So now this is the finished project of uh, our cannon. It the total cost for me was probably about $40. You guys could probably do it $35 because if you want to build it. Because unless it's like your Home Depot in O'Reilly is has cheaper things. But it was 40 bucks for me, but that's including the tire valves that we didn't use. The, the tire valves that went through and the new cap, so, and the old cap, so, we got this, it's time to test it out. Okay guys, you have the finished project, all we're going to be using to fill this up is a regular bicycle pump. Right here, I'm going to fill it up the 
cannon. We're gonna have some test launches. First thing we're gonna launch, Nerf bullet. Is this the crappiest one I could find? I don't really care if I lose it, because these things fly pretty well. Now this one, it's pretty heavy. It's a paper rocket that slides onto the barrel. We can use this. It's pretty heavy at the front. It probably won't go very far. It's got fins, it'll fly straight. Not very far or high, but it'll fly pretty good. So it'll be like a rocket from a rocket launcher. And finally, got this one that I built. Um, I didn't build actually. I actually didn't build that uh, other one that uh, would be good as a rocket launcher. As you can see, I already had to test fire. This was made of green paper, fit to put around the barrel. We have it a nose cone ta uh, taped on, and what I did was I cut a hole in the uh, top and used the old tubeless tire valve as weight and slid that through the front. And then I attempted to glue it onto this little thing I found in my dad's workshop. I think it has to do something with electricity. Uh, in fact, I know it has to do something with electricity. I think it holds two little uh, wires together or something like that. I'm not sure. But that doesn't really matter at the moment. Uh, we got the fins. It's pretty good. Alright, well, and, and what we're going to do, we're going to fill each one with 35 pumps. It's roughly about 80 PSI. Uh, if you don't know what PSI is, it's pounds per square inch. So every square inch, like, so 80 PSI is 80 pounds every, 80 pounds of pressure every square inch. So we'll see how this works. Here you go. Gonna launch it. Yes, get in. Zoom in in here. See the launch. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, you probably didn't see that because it just disappeared. It's gone. I don't know where it went. It just flew. Yeah, that's pretty insane. I think we'll try and go for a net more visible item next. Which is going to be, of course, this rocket. Da, da, da. Okay, guys, next is the rocket. Here we go. You see that? It was pretty good fly, I guess. It was, it was more of like a horizontal shot. I guess that worked out kinda, but let's see. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Got Cannon here. Alright. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click that like button. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Hit that notification button too. To be notified about upcoming videos. I will have maybe a cool project next time. If you want to see me shoot some more items like marshmallows or jelly beans or rocks, I have a huge shield I built that I could shoot at. I already shot a tomato at it. It's pretty cool. Bursts open. You want to see that? We'll try and get 10 likes on this vid on this video, and then do that. You should probably have adult supervision for this project. So if you don't have adult supervision, that's probably not going to be a good thing. Just in case, like, if you accidentally cut your finger off, which wouldn't be very fun. Um, so you should always have adult supervision when working on this project. And that's it. See you guys next time.